Chicago's number one news. This is ABC 7 News at 4. On the help me today, longer, fuller eyelashes that will last you forever. A doctor tells us about this procedure. So you probably think you've heard about it all when it comes to cosmetic surgery, right? Well, how about this? Eyelash transplants. This is not to be confused with the eyelash extensions that are currently another trend that are big right now, lasting six to eight weeks. This is permanent. And the doctor who pioneered this technique, Alan Baum, is joining us today to show us how this works. You came visit us last year because you're here for the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine Conference. That's correct, Sylvia. Welcome. Thanks. So obviously you saw a demand for this when you pioneered this technique. Are you getting a lot of requests for eyelash transplants? Yeah, absolutely. We're getting a lot of requests for cosmetic eyelash enhancement. Now, originally, Sylvia, this came about through uh, trauma victims, patients right. who had damage to their lashes. Um, and many years ago, when we, that's all we saw were right. patients who had had damage and were requesting eyelash replacement for those reasons. Okay. And only a few and far between we were seeing uh, some of the cosmetic procedures. And then it really flipped around. Okay, so we're taking a look at some of the video. How, how does this work? Well, we're going to, under local anesthetic, mm -hmm. we're going to harvest hair from the back of the scalp, dissect it individually, single follicle implants. I'm going to thread those into, the, into place, into mm -hmm. the lid, and they're going to heal and grow permanently. Just like okay. a seed for a plant, those things will grow forever. Okay, and this lady that we're looking at had the procedure this is, done. This is Jody. She has okay. to trim them and curl them uh, because they do grow pretty long. That's what I was going to ask you. Okay, you, you get them from your, the scalp, so they don't grow like regular eyelashes. They're going to get grow longer and straighter. We have some before and after pictures if we yes. can show. Um, and so you actually have, there's maintenance involved. So here's sure. the before, here's the after. This yes. is before the curling and trimming, right? Cool. Correct. These are very long mm -hmm. eyelashes from the transplant. They do have to be trimmed and curled in this particular case. But it, this photo shows you just how dramatic uh -huh. uh, the growth can be from the eyelash transplant. But there's maintenance involved yeah. here. And, and how quickly can you see the effects? Like, that looks beautiful. How long is uh, that Well, actually, taking? that's from the prostaglandin treatment. Oh, okay. That let's, is let's, a topical liquid. Okay, let's hold off on that okay. first. But how quickly can you tell the difference in the transplant? Uh, well, it's going to take about a week to heal mm -hmm. the procedure. And then the lashes are going to start to grow in about 6 to 12 weeks, but it's going to take 6 to 12 months to okay. see the final eyelash growth. Now, does this work for every woman or man who might want them? Well, not every person is a good candidate for eyelash transplantation. As I mentioned, the trauma victims, obviously right. people who have lost their lashes or pulled them out through trichotillomania mm -hmm. are good candidates. Cosmetic procedures, we need to talk about the risks and the benefits with those patients. Okay. Now, if you don't want to go through all of that hassle and you don't want to put on the false eyelashes, you brought this. It's called Revitalash. Now, this isn't something that you invented, but this is no. something that you promote. How does this work? Let me see. If well, Revitalash contains a prostaglandin analog, okay. which ophthalmologists realized when they were treating a glaucoma grew lashes thick, long, and dark. Okay. And this is a cosmetic product. Uh, there are a few on the market. Jamarini and Revitalash are the main ones. Um, and this is applied once to the lids every night. Every and so night. you can see it's a very tiny brush and you that just applies brush it on. and you just brush it right like wherever you put the eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to get hair on my arms now. Yeah. I'm not... <laughs> no, no, okay. no, no, no. Can we go back to that, that second picture to show the difference? So you put that on where exactly? Right where you would normally put the eyeliner. Oh, so just okay. at the lash line right before you go to bed once every night. Now your specialty is hair loss. That's what this is all about, replacing hair. You got it. And this works. Any, any side effects or any negatives uh, with this? We have not seen any side effects with this medication, but I do recommend that you see a hair doctor if you're going to think about doing something to change your hair growth. Is that a prescription? This is not a prescription, but it's available from physicians only. And what does that cost? This is about $150, okay. and it lasts several months. Okay, and then we should say the, the transplant, Linda, because in case some people are asking, that's $3,000 per eye, per correct? Eye. Correct. So it's not cheap, but for some people, it's permanent. Important, and when right? you compare it to the extensions, uh, it's a nice permanent solution. Okay. Living Welcome back. Permanent. You always have interesting things to talk about. Thanks for having we me, Sylvia. We appreciate Sylvia. it. Linda, that is fascinating. Mm -hmm. I want to look into that.